Yo, what is good? It's Z17 back with another video, and today we are starting a play now journey in NBA 2K25. This is because I needed a break from Park, and I'm gonna get into domination, but there's no point recording domination videos. Sounds like the worst idea ever. But anyway, we have this opponent who's got the Orlando Magic. It's Knicks vs Magic, I'm giving out my favourite team a try, and he's missing to start the game. Now, I'm going to go over how play now works this year. Green light from Brunson on the first shot, not bad at all. Um, so play now works, I think, tier 1. Let me check quickly as this is pre-recorded gameplay. Tier 1, I believe you get 1 point for a win. Let me see. Yeah, it's 1 point for a win in Tier 1. If you use Tier 2 team, I think it's 2 points. Then it might even be 3 points for a Tier 3 if you win with them. And pretty much you need a certain amount of points to get to each league. So I'm in the Bronze League because I've just started. Anyway... I think that's pretty much it for how it works. The person with most points has 342 already. That is insane. I'm starting off game slow as to be expected because I haven't played this yet and I've noticed in play now you have to actually green to make your shots which is not bad at all. But I don't know these players jump shots so it's going to be a struggle. And I also don't have his shot feedback on, so I'm not sure if he's greening or what. I think I need to turn that on as well. I'm fading freeze with Josh Hart. That's what I mean. I'm just trying to test out the team. I'm leaving him wide open. Seven points now to two. Gave up an open three. At least I could see him green there. I think he had a few white. Brunson. Brunson's my favourite player. And I like his jump shot a lot this year. Josh Hart, easy layup, tacking the paint, that's 7-4. I'm not expecting to win this game to be honest because it's my first game and I'm very out of the loop in play now. Josh Hart with some intense defense. We're going to get stop here I believe. Well hopefully... Good defense there, although I kind of sagged off at the end, unfortunately, meaning he could score. This is me trying to work out whether I can get shot feedback on and all of that. So I was able to edit out some of the bad stuff. Now we're down 9-4, drawing a foul with Josh Hart. And I'm going to knock down both of these free throws here. You know, free throws aren't too difficult, fortunately, even in play now. And the jump shots this year, I actually think they're very good for play now. And the badges, I checked them out on my NBA, that video's on the way. Jalen Brunson with a green light, of course. I'm knocking it down. That Brunson jump shot, very nice, to be honest. Bad defense from me, or Randall, whoever you want to blame. I'm driving in with Brunson, I'm going to kick it out, green light from Mikel Bridges, 12-14, we've closed it up a little bit, and it looks like we might get a stop here, but unfortunately, you will see here, we give up the points, I cut it out, I can't believe that, and one for the magic, now we're falling behind Brunson, just too short there, Oh well, it's game one. I'm not expecting myself to win. Let's dribble it up court. Give it off. McBride. He's making the layup. McBride, one of my favourite players. Deuce, of course. Now it's only a five point game. Let's clamp up Jonathan Isaac. With OG. Shouldn't be too difficult. But he's making a contested layup. This is why I want shot feedback on. Because I don't know what contest that was. Brunson with a green light keeping us in the game. 21 to 17. 
Now Bankero, he is missing the fading three. I would have been mad if that went in. McBride, I'm going to drive it in to Achua. And unfortunately, nothing good happened there. Offensive three second violation. He's calling timeout. And then, all of a sudden, just out of nowhere, you'll see. Give it another second. It's taking its time, isn't it? He just quits the game, so that's a dub and a good start to the series. Thanks for watching, catch you in the next video.